Hi, I'm Chris. Welcome to Aki Geeks. And I'm Jack. Hi guys, welcome back. For those of you who are new to our channel, we are the OCD Geeks as well as Aki Geeks podcast and YouTube channels. You can find us on YouTube for the video edition as well as major podcast platforms such as Spotify, Apple Podcast and Google Podcast for the audio edition. So Jack, Would you like to tell our listeners about our channels? Well, guys, if you've been following us for a long time, you would already know that that on our channel OCD Geeks, we cover topics such as TV series, language learning, mental health, first of all, and, you know, pop culture in general, entertainment. While on Aki Geeks, our second channel, we usually talk about video games and what is related to technological world. That's right. So, if you would like to get in touch, you can contact us on Instagram and Twitter at Chris underscore OCD Geeks, as well as Jack underscore OCD Geeks. Today, Jack, we are going to talk about sport, but in a very geeky way. Yeah, you know, Chris, how much I love football and sports in general. It's important to specify that it's soccer for our uh, American listeners. Yes, that's right, Chris, it's soccer. Actually, you know, when you proposed me this new idea to record an episode on the video game of today, which is Mario Strikers. Strikers, the new one. Uh, it's called Mario Strikers Battle League. So yeah, I, I wasn't sure if expecting something between sport and, and battling or fighting, but I got to know that actually there is not only a mix between fighting and football, but also between fighting and sports in general, because in this game it's not only about football. You can use the ball with your hands, you can touch it with your feet, you have special weapons, and it involves many of the characters of the Mario universe. Yes, so you know guys that unlike Jack I don't care a lot about football or soccer it's something not so appealing to me but still having this game with Mario and all the well-known Nintendo characters it's something that I totally enjoy because as Jack said this game is not realistic by any means (laughs) you can expect all kinds of crazy moves and tricks there is not even a referee so everything is allowed yeah it means there are no rules at all in this game as you can see there are special combos that you can use in this game in order to strike in every way possible everything is is completely valid and allowed also it has some kind of rpg elements because you are going to improve your characters you know with extra speed or strength it's simple to understand but also complex if you want to fully master you know jack this game will have a huge online component so you can expect to play with players from all over the world. For which platform is it available, Chris? This is only available for the Nintendo Switch. It's an exclusive. Again, if you have a Switch, even if you are not into soccer, I would still recommend you to play the game. And maybe we can catch up each other online. Yeah, why not? We can try one one day. Actually, it reminded me, as I saw the images of Space Jam, because you can see monsters and your main characters from the Mario universe playing against each other. Also that Space Jam is kinda without any rules. It's also something between fighting and basketball. Yeah, it's totally right. You know, Jack, that even for the Switch, so the latest Nintendo console, this is not the only Mario sport game. For example, there was the tennis as well as golf. So this is the latest entry into the Mario sport series. About this game, you will find some kind of darker vibe of the Nintendo characters. Even, for example, the soundtrack is like metal inspired. So you can listen electric guitar riffs, something that usually you don't associate with Nintendo characters. So it seems that everyone is really into the game and even like angry and they want to smash the world. So it's really cool. Yeah, that's very cool to know. Yeah, I will give it a try. You know, Jack, there are all kinds of superpowers and if you touch the border of the soccer field you most likely you will get some kind of electric shock it's something like so far from the ordinary but this is also the special appeal of this game even for not soccer fans like me yeah you're right chris what about you guys have you heard about this game have you already played it yet let us know what what you think about it if you like sports in general and stuff like this if you like the idea could even think about creating some kind of playing together 
together with the OCD and Aki Geeks community. We can meet each other online to have fun together. At the end of the day, Jack, this game is not realistic, but just fun. That's the most important. Yes, and play together would be exceptional by all means. If you are interested, as I said, I'm not a soccer expert by any means, but Jack has a big passion for soccer and you know guys how much soccer is important in Italy, since both me and Jack are Italian. If you would like to hear more about the role of soccer in Italian culture, let us know in the section comments down below so we can create another episode with Jack going deeper about real soccer this time. And talking about uh, AC Milan, which is my favorite team. Beside that, it's just fun because you know guys that in Italy, since we are kids, soccer is maybe the number one game that you play with your friends in the backyard. It's something that I'm sure as Italian or maybe European listeners can relate to. Yes, and especially in Europe, it has deep cultural roots. About soccer, I really enjoyed both uh, Ted Lasso and if you are a long time listener, you totally get it because me and Jack has a huge passion for that series. I remember as a kid watching uh, Only a Benji that is uh, known in uh, Japanese uh, as Captain Tsubasa. So it's not really Only a Benji. It seems like two different cartoons. Yeah, this is kind of my connection with soccer overall. So it's uh, still from a geeky side. Yeah, I think that Oli and Benji is way closer to Mario Strikers than to the, the actual football. <laughs> because even in Oli and Benji there were these spectacular moves and balls of fire. You know, the... you know, Jack, that is really cool that you are saying like that. Because last year, actually, it came out a brand new Oli and Benji or Captain Tsubasa game. So you can even experience that. I, I heard very positive reviews. As you can guess, people that are in their 30s like us, maybe they grew up with Captain Tsubasa. So it was a way kind of to remember our school years. Totally, I have a lot of friends that have precious memory connected to to Oli and Benji and uh, even one episode would be very good if completely dedicated to this amazing cartoon, how it involved our lives as a kid. Not, not only that, but could be all the cartoons, I would say anime from Japan that were so popular in the 90s that mm. had a huge impact uh, in our growing up. Mm. I think growing up as a kid, uh, cartoons like not only Only Benji, but also Milan Shiro really helped younger generation to keep going, keep starting a, a sport and going on with their lives, loving such sports and how pop culture influenced the younger generation to be in a kind of community, you know, kind of sport community. It's something really positive. So guys, now it's your turn to join the conversation. Let us know if you played or if you are playing Mario Strikers or maybe you are into another game. Anyways, we would be happy to hear from you. Even for today, we can close with our sentence. Let them talk our freaks. We keep playing on Aki Geeks.